Hi everyone, so in this video tutorial we're kicking off the series of videos for the master controller. I have a very simple example here with a few circle drawings on different layers, all of which have a peg on top of it, certain other ones as well for the hierarchy. And we have the master controller, which is located right here. We have a little peg to control it as well if we want to use it. Um, but this is mainly the uh, master controller. What exactly is inside here? Well, we have a few things. Um, most of it is going to be uh, programming code associating scripts with the master controller node. Um, we're gonna be able to find these inside the script editor. If we switch over to the scope uh, of the project, we have the code right here. So this is not something that is done at the rigging or the animation stage. This is something that's in the back end that you're gonna need either an IT person or a programmer to um, code the various uh, principles that you want to affect your master controller with. Um, so for this one right here, we have the master controller node. Um, I don't currently see it over on my camera view. If I want to see it, I can activate it using the show control button. And as I show it, I now have a little handle that I can move around. Uh, the way that this one has been programmed is to act as some sort of a magnet. So as you can see, when it gets closer, the circles are moving around, getting closer to my controller. So this is one of the behavior that you can do. There's a lot of things to be done with the master controller. Uh, just after we'll be able to see uh, how we can create a rig and associate certain keyframes with them. But you can also, as you can see with this one, uh, create certain aspects, certain dynamics that will affect your objects completely independent of keyframes. This is all calculated within the script. And I do have another one as well. So this one is using simple shapes uh, with just pegs. I do have this other one as well, which is using deformation. So we have certain deformation points in there. You need to click again on the master controller, show controls to have your manipulator appearing. And this one is going to distort the objects using the deformer. So it's pulling at the deformation points. You can play around with those as well to, uh, to pull on certain points. This is another type of way that you can uh, set your, um, your master controller to really pull at the shapes um, and create a completely different dynamic out of something very similar. A lot of the coding can be reused as well, which makes it a great tool for uh, adding to multiple things. Uh, you would be able to take that coding uh, that we had in the project and reuse that for other things, uh, change it a little bit, change certain things, reuse it for, um, for a completely different project. That could be something that's done. None of this is lost. It can all be reused again, even if just part of it. And that already saves a lot of time uh, when you want to move on to something else. So stay tuned for the rest of the tutorials on the master controller. We've got some pretty exciting stuff coming up. So I'll see you guys in the next video.